My name's Andy Waters. Um, I'm one of the directors of High Track Harvesting. Earlier on in the year, we purchased a Thunderbird 355 and we've converted it um, to a Skyline system. So it's more or less a bit of a hybrid between a fixed power and a swing yarder. It's got all the benefits of both, uh, both systems really. We can uh, sit close to the edge, have smaller skids, um, and, uh, and the beauty of swinging the drag, so, so um, you, you don't need nowhere near as much room and quicker to set up. We went the direction of, of a Skyline system and we wanted to use a Falcon claw. We believe it's a lot, it's a lot more efficient, um, as, as was one of our main motives. And we've only heard good things about the, about the Falcon Claw, so we were keen to give it a go. We sort of took the, took the punt and, and um, we've been gone for six months now. It's an efficient way um, of, of extracting. We use a shotgun system uh, probably 80% of the time. Even even up in the 90s, and uh, that's a very efficient way, probably the most efficient way you can uh, operate a hauler. As for operating it, I employed a, a fellow Mike friend. He's he spent 30 years on a fixed tear, so uh, and he was he was keen to give the swing out a go. He's picked it up pretty quick, and and as for uh, operating the Falcon, it's you can't really get much easier than that. It's just a just a few buttons on your on your um, hand pieces that do all the controls on the on the Falcon. So it's quite quite simple. Um, Mike was he's very familiar with the shotgun system and slack lining sort of thing. So it was just a matter of him mastering the the swing yarder, which he's done really well. Our safety wise is massive. Um, uh, it's night and day really. Um, with the Falcon, um, you've got no guys, combined with our mechanised falling, we've got no guys on the cutover. Uh, that's, that's the, you ask anyone, that's the biggest risk in, in forestry, so um, we've immediately eliminated that. Um, that was a, another motive for us. Um, we wanted to go fully mechanised as quick as soon as we can. It's just not worth the, um, uh, the, the paperwork and the stress of having guys down the hill and putting them in harm's way. And, and we've got to keep in mind that my operator, uh, Mike, he's, he's only been doing it for six months, so um, he's only getting better and better every day. And, and as you can see, he's, sort of, he's pretty much mastered it. As, as, as far as operating a swinger, as it should do, it, it, it's not a, a hindrance having a, having a falcon on the end of the rope. You do require a lot of lift, so we just hunt for maximum lift wherever we go so um, and and areas where we do struggle we will use different systems like would would shovel to the last line um, would shovel blind areas around uh, we introduced last year we introduced a, a um, tail hold spar a tail hold spar is is where my when my faller falling machine operator when he opens up the setting He'll have a backline ridge, or we'll have it all planned out where the backline goes. Um, he'll determine if we need, if we, if we might struggle for a bit of lift. He'll, um, he'll leave a, a, a six metre, minimum six metre spar um, down the hill, where we would rest the skyline rope on top of it, and that just gives you an extra. It'll give us an extra um, couple of metres of lift. There's a multi, there's multiple reasons why we shifted, uh, switch to a Falcon. Um, uh, safety is a massive one, um, so that, like I said earlier, that gets my guys off the hill. Um, um, also efficiency, so time saving. Um, we don't uh, we don't have to uh, lose nowhere near as much time landing a drag or, or uh, hooking up. So um, those two things, and also efficiency. So we we like the idea of shotgunning the shotgun system. Um, uh, yeah, as you do, yeah, you, you're using um, gravity as your best friend with a shotgun, and so um, a very efficient way of, of logging. So um, uh, those three reasons were a massive motive for us. Um, we are happy with it. 
and we're definitely going to keep going the way we are. Um, we're no, it's just getting better and better. So as Mike gets more experience with it, um, um, yeah, we're, we're just more than happy with it.